Good evening, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comics in Five Minutes. I'm your loving host, Shorty. And yes, it's late in the day for one of these, but I've literally just got my delivery finished. Um, it was a massive double weeker after the issues last week, um, and it arrived late, which is just what you want, isn't it? It's kind of ruined my plans for you because I'm going to be here for another couple of hours. Uh, but I need a bit of a break because I knew I'm going to be here for a while. Um, I'm starving, I haven't eaten all day, and I just thought let's read a comic book about racism. Um, it's Black Cotton, by the way, from Scout Comics. Um, and first off, I want to talk about something that I absolutely love straight away. Uh, we'll get into some of the details later. Um, but there's something particularly lovely about just pure black and white artwork when they use uh, ink washers for the shading. Um, I really, really like this kind of artwork. Just look at the really nice, obvious bold lines where they do them as like, minimalist if possible. The lines for the window on the airplane are brilliant. Like, I know exactly what that is. I've sat in airplanes. I know exactly what the window looks like with, the, like, the double glass and the depth to it. And that, with just a couple of basic lines, looks amazing. It's everything I want it to be. Um, it might not be everyone's cup of tea. I can tell you that, like, there's um, some wonderful bits in here. But if you're expecting something that jumps and pops off the uh, page, maybe not. Maybe look, this is more for people who seem a little bit more subtle. But look at what they can do there with just the light and shade. I mean, come on, that is good. That looks real. That's like proper professional level artwork. That I absolutely love it. I think Scout Comics needs stuff like that in all the time. Now to some stuff which I'm not 100% a fan of. And this is not me uh, like uh, complaining too much. I actually really like what they're doing with the comic book. But it's kind of hard to compare it to, sorry, to not compare it to Noughts and Crosses by Malloy Backman. Another comic book which effectively, uh, sorry, story, uh, which uh, is the same kind of issue of... Um, uh, power structures and racism reversed, as in black people being uh, the majority uh, uh, wealth owners, capitalists, and white people being the minorities, uh, victims of police brutality and the like. Now, Manly Blackman did this by basically recreating the entire history of the world um, and setting up a point similar to contemporary now um, and having all that history happen. Uh, this, clearly something like that has happened, but it doesn't tell you what it is. And I find that to be just a little bit disappointing. Um, like the the ingrained power structures of um, uh, cap white capitalism is like a huge part of how the world works. And for it to not be that way, I kind of want to know why. Um, something must have happened, something big and major. And it's certainly not a plot hole with regard to this story, but I can't help but feel that knowing that could help inform some of the story choices they're making. Because the story is pretty much a standard story of um, a police officer uh, murdering an innocent uh, unarmed individual. Um, if it was a white police officer uh, shooting a black girl, um, it would probably play out exactly the same. Um, and the story is doing a very good job of showing how it's going to play out. It's not quite the simple thing that everyone expects it's going to be. Um, uh, they're trying to have the whole um, the black cop is actually like um, uh, is in favour of white uh, equal equality, um, and he never thought himself as racist, and he honestly thought she had a gun. Um, instead of playing the whole you know, slightly more expected of one of oh well, what you expect in that area wearing a hood um, or out and out just claiming they had a gun, um, uh, they felt threatened. He at least seemed contrite, which might be a slight difference, uh, but for that mindset happened him being the son of a very very rich business owner you kind of, and again to have like a sense of why it is different uh, why is the world different what is that that gaping hole that will explain why the world is running on a very different axis what has changed um if you can either well get over that or just wait for it to be explained hopefully it will be it is a brilliant comic book um, the writing is brilliant. Um, there's a lot of intercharacter dialogue, uh, which like uh, absolutely pops. Um, it's it's quick and it's vibrant and it's vital. Um, there is uh, anger and repercussions and uh, attempts even at deceit, which you can see from the way um, their faces are drawn, how things come across. That it's very clear that, um, that they know what they're doing. The, the the art and the story and the narrative and the dialogue all come together really really effectively to tell the exact story they want to tell and they do an absolutely tremendous job of it um there is only the one problem i have with it and i'm really hoping they're going to solve that problem and actually get us to an idea about uh, why the world is different because without that it feels like they simply switch the narrative around for the sake of it um and i'm not entirely sure it that is worth it unless you're going to do something with it um, I mean, it's just my opinion. Uh, mind you, the all that. It's what a review is. 
Um, but it's certainly worth checking out. It looks great and the story's fantastic. Let's just hope they, uh, they answer my questions. Anyway, uh, that's it for me today. Um, well, <laughs> I'm actually going to be here for a while. Um, if you're one of my regular customers and you're watching this and thinking, oh, I'm getting an invoice soon, hopefully you will. But honestly, at a certain point, I might have to stop and go home and eat. Um, but I'm going to be back in tomorrow morning regardless. So expect at least one, maybe two reviews, because we have got a whole bunch of new stuff coming in and there's a whole lot you want to read. Um, Steam Bound, thanks to be next one by Behemoth, because it looks fantastic. Anyway, uh, that's it from me. I'm going to call it. Take it easy. Bye.